which options to choose right so whenever you have to make a decision today we try to calculate the present values of both of the options right so present value is nothing but what would be the value of that future money that you are getting today right that is called the present value what is the value present today right so i'll give you a simple example let's say i tell you that you know you have 121 rupees after two years right and you have 100 rupees after two years now i want to calculate the present value which is today of both of these options right so you need some interest rate or you need the opportunity cost of capital or or cost of capital right so how we will calculate that present value we will see that for this we have to understand the concepts of compounding and discounting what is compounding very very simple you might have learned this in class 8 7th you, when you uh, when you study that compound interest right so compounding is nothing but if you are, if i give you 100 rupees today and i say you that you know the bank is providing 10% of interest rate what will be the amount after one year which is very very simple on 100 you will have a 10% interest which is 10 rupees and 100 plus 10 would be 110 rupees that would be the value of that 100 rupees after one year if I ask you what will be the value after two years, what will you do? Now the principal amount after one year will change. That will become 110 rupees. And now 10% interest rate would be calculated on 110 rupees, which is 11 rupees, right? So after two years, this value will become 110 plus 11, which is 121, right? So compounding is basically nothing but if you see uh, when you calculated that 121 rupees, that 10% interest, you are, you are also getting interest on interest, right? So whatever you earned 10, 10 rupees interest in the first year, again, on that 10 rupees, you are again getting the 10% uh, you know, more, right? So this is called compounding and the reverse process is called discounting, right? Uh, <clears throat> so basically, if I try to put it in formula, so if you have 100 rupees today and I ask you what is the value after two years, what you will do? 100 multiplied by one plus R whole square. Square two is showing you that this is a time, a two year horizon it is there, right? So R is an interest rate, which is 10%, which is 0.1. So essentially 100 into 1.1 whole square, which is 121 rupees, right? So when you want to calculate the present value of that 121 at t is equal to zero, what you will do? You will divide that 121 by 1.1 whole square, right? So because essentially how you how you arrived at, arrived at 121, 100 into 1.1 whole square. So from 121, if I want to arrive to 100, what will I do? I will just divide it by 1.1 whole square, right? Or in, in formula wise, what will I do? I'll divide 121 by, 1 plus r whole square right or to be very generic what will i do i'll divide whatever amount i have at the end of n years right so let's say that amount is a i will divide that amount by 1 plus r to the power n and i will get the present value at t is equal to zero and this whole process is called discounting right and we will use this method to derive the present value of the cash flows and to compare the options thank you so much have a very